Hello and welcome to Celebrating and Preparing Child Abuse Prevention Month, April 2024. I am Kim Osborne. I'm the Statewide Information and Resource Coordinator at Kansas Children's Service League. And today is just a real quick video over how and why we celebrate child abuse prevention. These are just um, a few of the goals that we want to make sure that we get across in this video today. Um, we want to make sure that you guys understand what child abuse prevention is, why we celebrate child abuse prevention, some fun activities and events that you can do within your organization and community, and also some methods and examples of how to raise awareness of child abuse prevention programs at the state and local levels. And this is just a real brief history of Prevent Child Abuse Kansas. In 1976, Kansas became the first chapter of Prevent Child Abuse America. Um, which then led to our first CAP week, June 6th through 12th, and that was in 1982. 1993, Prevent Child Abuse Kansas became part of Kansas Children's Service League, which now leads us to 2024, and it is our 48th anniversary of celebrating child abuse prevention. This is a picture of our pinwheel. We use the pinwheel to symbolize child abuse prevention, and the pinwheel is really the visual reminder of happy, healthy childhoods. Um, we have many activities that you can include the pinwheel in, anywhere from pinwheel plantings to planting at your home, putting a small vase of pinwheels on your desk, um, and those are just some really simple ways to um, engage and be included in in the celebration of child abuse prevention. We do have anyone who purchases pinwheels through us sign a memorandum of agreement, and this is just stating that you are going to use these pinwheels to symbolize um, child abuse prevention and not child fatalities. This is our campaign component. Um, our community events across Kansas, we would love for communities to participate in pinwheel gardens, proclamation signings at the city and county level, family fun events, and we'll go a little more into depth on what you can do as far as family fun events. Um, our Wear Blue Day this year is going to be on Friday, April 5th, another great way to have agencies come together and wear blue. We have a online toolkit available. Um, this is for free and it includes letters to the editor, sample proclamations, talking points that you can include at your proclamations or your um, child abuse prevention events. And new, we have social media assets that you can use on social media. We also have a Wear Blue Day flyer that you can hand out and some other family fun activities. It's a great resource. Please check that out. Um, it's going to be on our website. Um, it's listed there at the bottom where you can go to. And on um, this slide is what our uh, website looks like. So this is just kind of a sample of what that is going to look like when you go to visit our website. Um, and then we have child abuse prevention materials available to order, and we'll go a little more in depth to that in the next couple of slides. So this is an example of our paper pinwheel. We also have a um, pinwheel coloring sheet. These are great to use um, for free events, for fundraisers. Um, they are great to use just to honor children. You can use them, um, like I said, if people want to purchase them for a dollar. You can even do with a coloring contest, have people pay a dollar to enter, pay a dollar to vote. And then whatever money you collect, you can always um, donate to the Child Abuse Prevention Agency near you or of your choosing. Um, these are also great to include in schools, daycares, offices. They're just a, a really easy way to um, celebrate child abuse prevention and also if you're wanting to do some kind of giveaway or fundraiser. And again, these are um, in our toolkit um, to print for free. This is a sampling of what we have available for cap materials. So um, these are a example of our pinwheels. Our pinwheels are a dollar a piece. 
we do offer bulk pricing. Um, if you order over 500, they're going to be 85 cents a piece. And if you over order over 1,000, they're going to be 75 cents a piece. So you can order as little or as many as you want. It's just kind of what your event, what space you're looking at to plant them. Um, so they're available to order and in the size that you or as many as you want. The next item, it's at the bottom, is our lapel pin. They're $2.50 each. These are nice to wear to events, um, give out to employees in your agency. Um, then we have our yard sign, which is in the very middle of this picture. They are $8.50 each. If you order 250 pinwheels or more, you will receive a free sign with your pinwheels. And then everything that's included in this picture is a part of our pinwheel kit. So our pinwheel kit is $45, $45 each, and it includes 40 pinwheels, one yard sign, 10 pinwheel tattoos, 10 pinwheel buttons. Those are little buttons that you can put on your shirt. Um, there's 10 pinwheel stickers, and then there includes 25 1-800 children magnets and 25 cap bookmarks. Um, we have a big uh, or a larger quantity of the magnets and the bookmarks. So if that's something you think that would be a good asset to your event, please reach out to me and I can include more than the 25. Um, just let me know and we can definitely get that. Even if you purchase other materials or you um, are just wanting to use those for event because they are free. Um, just let me know and I can get you as many as you need. This is a little closer look to the bookmark that is included in the pinwheel kit. Um, it does have the five protective factors on the back of it. Uh, like I said, there's no cost. This is something that you can go to our order form, which I'll show you on the next slide and order and um, they're great to hand out at events. They're great for libraries, for schools. We also have tip cards. We have a variety of them that we can send that we have printed in stock. And we also have a large variety on our website for you to print as well. We also have 1-800-CHILDREN promotional items, um, which you can also go to our um, order form and see what we have available. There's also a picture of things that will show you kind of an example of what they look like. And our 1-800-CHILDREN program, if you're not familiar with it, is a 24-7 helpline that anyone within Kansas can call for resources, referrals, or support. If that is something that you are more interested in and you are not familiar with 1-800-CHILDREN, please make sure you contact me and we can get you a little more information about that after this video. So this is the QR code to our order form that I talked about earlier. Um, our process for ordering materials, uh, you would just scan that, go to the order form, fill out your information, and I would ship you your materials. It's a little different with CAP materials. So the process that you are going to do to order our child, child abuse prevention materials, you're gonna fill out that order form and then I will get a notification and I will send you an invoice of how much you owe. And then you have a couple of options. You can send a check to the address that is located or to the address that is listed on this slide, or you can call and make a credit card payment. As soon as I've received payment for your cat materials, I will get those ready and get those shipped out. They do take a little bit of time to ship, so if you know that you're going to be needing these soon, please make sure you get your orders in as soon as possible. And if you have any any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And these are some uh, examples of pinwheel gardens. As you can see, um, looks like um, Hope Unlimited had a few more pinwheels in the other picture. It's you know, basically up to you uh, on what your budget is, how many you would think look good, how many you can use. You can use as little or as many as you need. Um, they also have the yard sign in there that gives a little bit of information. So that goes wonderfully with the pinwheels. Um, 
And if you do have um, a pinwheel picture that you are planning on sending to us and there's kids in there, please make sure that you do have a um, release for that. This is another example of pinwheel plantings. Sunflower Collective in Manhattan used it just in the front of their building and kind of made pinwheel bundles. Um, the Topeka police put them in a single line in front of their building. These are um, some more examples. This is a pinwheel planting in front of the Reno County Dairy Queen. And then we have Growing Place Daycare in Humboldt that did a pinwheel planting with the daycare, which is always a fun way to incorporate pinwheel planting is with daycare, schools, kids love it. They have a lot of fun and it's a great way to get all those pinwheels planted. And this is examples of where Blue Day. We have Russell Child Development Center and then Kansas Children's Service League, the Wichita office, and they even brought in the pinwheels to wear with their uh, Wear Blue Day. Events and activity ideas for Cat Month. Um, KCL, KCSL hosts a variety of has hosted a variety of events over the years. Um, we have hosted Family Fun Day at the zoo for several years. That's a really popular event. We just recently moved it to July uh, because of pricing. We had it um, on a Tuesday night in July and it was a huge success. We still had lots of people come out um, and see us for the zoo event. So anything that's family friendly that families can come out, especially if it's at a discounted rate, is a great way to incorporate Cat Month and to bring in those other child abuse prevention agencies is also wonderful. We typically try to bring in um, BACA and they come in and bring their bikes. They've done tattoos, they've done face painting, we've done um, photo booths. So we try to do some other fun activities as well as letting the families enjoy the zoo. We are going to do a pinwheel planting at Wichita State University, and we have done that for the last several years. And we go in and we have the child care center help us plant pinwheels um, right in front of their agency. We partnered for the first time with our new uh, Family Resource Center for their family night. Um, they have a family night once a month, so I went and I partnered with them and got to meet families. They had a real fun movie night and we supplied snacks and some child abuse prevention materials for them. We also do a blue dessert contest every year and we have everybody who would like to participate bring a blue dessert and then we vote on which is our favorite. And um, for the first time last year, we also did a child abuse prevent child abuse prevention fun week. So I hosted a um, week where every week we did something fun. We had a pinwheel that was hidden and so they had to do a pinwheel hunt. We did a trivia that was all about blue facts. We did a pinwheel or a pinwheel coloring contest. And then we also had a potluck. So just a, some fun different activities that can get your um, organization, and your community together and celebrate child abuse prevention. We also have a new staff council that's going to do a spirit week. So you can also do that and have your employees dress up in different fun things. And um, it could even be a fun fundraiser as they have to pay to wear this or um, and collect money for the fundraiser or child abuse prevention agency of your choosing. This is a training a day in April. So if you go to our website, it's going to give you um, some more information and how to sign up. But the topics at um, th the topics that the trainings are about are listed there. So if that's something that you think that you or your agency would be interested in, please go to our website and check that out and get signed up. Like I said, they do different trainings all through April, and those are a wonderful way to get your um, agency and your community um, and get, get those uh, trainings in for April. This is just a little information about how to contact your local legislator. Um, 
it has the website here of where you can contact your local legislator. And we just want to uh, let you know and remember that we can advocate and um, be more effective when we work together. So contacting your legislator can bring light to, pre to prevention at the state, county, and city levels. Um, like I said, the website to contact your legislator is on here and they are also hosting a digital advocacy day, which is on April 16th. And if you go to preventchildabuse.org, you're going to find a little bit more information on about what the digital, Advo digital advocacy day is and what they are doing to celebrate that. And of course, we would love for you to share all your celebrations and the events that you have in your communities. We compile an annual event at the end of April that is sent to Prevent Child Abuse America, Kansas Department of Children and Families, and also the Kansas Children's Cabinet and Trust Fund. So if you host any type of event, we would love um, pictures. We would love to know when your proclamation signings were, and um, when you when you planted your pinwheels and we just want to know all of your events that you did. So if you could please take pictures, take down some um, quick information about that and send it to resource library at kcsl.org. We want to really make sure that we represent how you guys are celebrating in communities and get all of that represented in our report that we then send to all of those agencies. And you can also tag us on Facebook, um, and that's another way that we can get those pictures from you. And there's Instagram and there's our, our hashtags. This is um, our impact that we made in 2023. So we had 26 Kansas communities participate in CAP events, proclamation signings, and pinwheel plantings. We had 141 letters to the editor that was submitted, and we had 20 cap month proclamations that were signed across the state. Our 2024, our 2024 goals for uh, cap events, we would love for 25 Kansas counties to uh, participate in events. We would love for 144, 140 letters to the editor, 20 proclamation signings, and of course an ongoing campaign and events throughout the year to emphasize the importance of child abuse, child abuse prevention. And these are additional resources. It has Prevent Child Abuse America on there, the website, and then it also has my information. If you have any questions on ordering uh, about this video, anything about child abuse prevention related, please reach out to me and I will um, try my best to answer your questions. And then this is also all of our social media that you can follow us on and find more information. So thank you guys for attending this video today and please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Bye.